Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I did a couple of um, different inking techniques using bubble wrap. This one here, um, I used our inks and our aqua painter to make this. This one here is our note card and I just took the front of the note card and I um, used the Versamark on the bubble wrap and then I used our gold embossing powder. And then this one here is the reverse emboss which I just took um, the Versamark again and did clear embossing powder on that. And I'll show you how we go ahead and ink that up. But in here, I don't know if you can see this lime greenish color. That's one of the newest colors that are coming out and you'll be able to order that in June. It'll be in our new catalog and it's called Lemon Lime Twist. Look at that, how much fun is that? So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you how I did each of these. So this one here was used with smaller bubble wrap. Um, I'm going to try it with the bigger bubbles. Uh, this is just one of those bubble mailers. Um, any kind of bubble wrap will work. You could try the bigger ones, um, whatever you want to use. You'll get different techniques with how the sizes of the bubbles. So it's very simple. We're just going to take um, our three colors, which is Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, and Bermuda Bay. And... I just kind of squeezed them all to get some ink ink on the inside here. And then you're going to take your aqua painter and you're just going to pick up some of that color. So I'm going to start with the dark pink first, the Melon Mambo. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of water in there, kind of and then we're just gonna paint it on the bubble wrap. Just kind of paint a, a good little swatch of it on your bubble wrap. And you can paint it lighter, darker. You know, you can add more ink. So I think I like that. And then in between, you're just gonna take a paper towel and just kind of Take your ink, your um, aqua painter and kind of squeeze the water until it runs clear. And then you'll pick up your next set of ink, which will be the Flirty Flamingo. And we'll just start off where we left off. And again, it'll just depend on how dark you want it, your ink is to how much water you add. And then I'll just go ahead and pick up the next, which is your Bermuda Bay. And we'll kind of do that on the bottom. So this one here, I'm just using some uh, very vanilla piece of cardstock, and I cut the very vanilla at five by three and three quarters. So you're just going to take your very vanilla cardstock, you're just going to set it on the top, and then just press, press it down, and you'll see it's starting to bleed through a little bit. Okay. And you're just going to lift it and look at that. Isn't that awesome, that effect? So this was with the bigger bubbles and this one here was with the little bubbles, the little, the smaller bubble wrap. So it just depends on what kind of look you're looking for. Um, I like them both. So they'll make a fun little background on a card. So that's the first one here. So we're just going to set these aside and I'm going to show you our next technique. Okay guys, so the next technique we're gonna use is on our note card, and you don't have to use it on a note card, you can do it on anything you want. Um, I just thought it'd be neat just to have it right on the note card. So you're gonna take your Versamark, and you're gonna take your bubble wrap, and again, I'm using the kind of mediocre, medi, mediocre, medium size um, bubbles. You can do small, the larger ones, whichever you want. And you're just gonna take your Versamark ink pad and just get it all inked up all over the bubbles 
And then what you're going to want to do is, um, if you have the embossing buddy, you're going to want to just take the embossing buddy and just put it all over the front of the card so that you don't have your embossing powder sticking everywhere. You just want it to stick to where your bubbles are. So then I'm just going to lay it down on here. I'm going to want to press it. So once you feel confident, then we're just going to pull this up. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's all little bubbles in there. So next what you're going to do is take a piece. You can do it on your scrap paper. I always like to take a piece of computer paper and lay it down. And I'm going to do silver this time. Last time I did gold, so I'm just going to do silver. And you're just going to shake it all over the front of the card like so. And don't worry, this stuff goes a long way. So you get a little jar of this and it's going to last you a long time. So once you get it covered, then you just kind of tip it and just kind of shake it off. Give it a couple of flicks and so as you can see I've missed some spots but that's okay because it's going to be a background. So I'm just going to use my Stampin' Up um, heating tool. You can use whichever one you want. I just recently purchased this and I love it because it's got the two settings. So if you're heating it up um, ink, if you want ink to dry, you would just turn it on setting one and that'll help you set your ink. And then number two would be for embossing. So we're just gonna go ahead and emboss this up and you just wanna be careful when you're doing this not to um, burn your fingers. So I start on one side of the card. So there it is in silver. Isn't that so pretty? It's so neat. You can make your own backgrounds. And there's the one in gold. So, so that's the second technique. So now we'll move on to our third technique. Okay, guys. Now for our last technique, we're going to be using the colors Sweet Sugar Plum, Melon Mambo, and the brand new Lemon Lime Twist, which um, will be available June 1st. But I love this color and I thought I'd showcase it. So what you're going to need is some craft sponges. And um, I just took one of our sponges and just cut them into little triangles. And you're going to need a triangle for each of your colors. So we're just going to go ahead and open these up. And I also have a piece of... Um, very vanilla cardstock and this is cut at five and a quarter by four so we're going to use that to ink it up and you're just going to take your colors and I think I'll start with the new color first and you're just going to get some of the color on your sponge and then you're just going to kind of put circle motions, spots, just kind of put it wherever you want to on the cardstock. And then I'll set that one aside and I'll move on to the next one. I love how the Melon Mambo and the Lemon Lime go so well together. They're like fun party colors. And then we'll take some of the sweet sugar plum, kind of put that in there. And then I'll just go back over it with the
Okay, so once you have it inked to where you like your colors, then we're gonna go ahead and close up our ink pads. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, this needs to dry. So you can either just let it air dry or you can take your heating tool and dry it um, up because we're gonna put some um, Versamark on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this dry and then we'll move on to our next step. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in our um, bubble wrap again. And we're gonna take our Versamark and we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the last technique. Put it all over your bubble wrap. Once you get it to where you feel it's got enough ink on it, we're gonna take our very colorful piece of very vanilla and we're just gonna place it down and again, just kind of rub it. And I, um, I'm just taking my bone folder and kind of using that to make sure I get a good, nice, even, press on there okay and then we'll just kind of take it up and you'll see there's all little I don't know if you can see them but there's all little bumps in there from the Versamark so then we're just going to take our piece of paper scrap paper and we're going to use clear emboss powder on this Kind of give it a couple of little flicks. Okay, and then you're just going to take your heat heating emboss to tool and um, your heat gun, and we're just going to go ahead and get this all heated up. All right, guys, so it's all embossed. Look how much fun those colors are. So you'll see it's all shiny. That's all the embossed circles. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a um, piece of paper towel handy. And we're gonna use that in, in a moment. And you're also going to need a um, one of our foam brayers. So this one here, I used black ink, so it permanently stained the brayer, which is fine. I mean, you could still use it. Um, the other inks, when you use them, they wash out but the black one will stain. So I use this at some point on black. But today we're gonna use um, Indigo, Island Indigo on this. And we're just gonna take, and make sure you have a piece of scrap paper down underneath this. And you're just gonna take your brayer and just kinda get it inked up. You don't wanna press down too hard because if you press down too hard, these little um, plastic pieces here they can gouge your ink pad. So just kind of give it a little bit of pressure, but you don't have to go crazy with the pressure. So get it nice and inked up, and you're just gonna take your brayer and just go over, over your card with your Island Indigo ink. And you're just gonna keep doing it until you get the ink where you like it, the darkness of your ink. And it does get a little messy here or there, but it's fun. So you just go over this, like I said, you just wanna go over it as to how dark you want it to look. So I think I like that. So what you're gonna do next is take your paper towel that you had set aside and you're just going to rub the top of that and those colors just pop right out look at how fun that background is wouldn't this be great for a birthday card or a celebration card look at how much fun 
So there's that background technique with the bubble wrap. So I showed you three different ways that you can use the bubble wrap. And I'm sure there's many, many more. So I'd love to see what you guys create with this technique.